Hey everybody, I'm back again. And in today's video, hold on, let me turn the yeah, that's fine. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my post-war layout. It's not really post-war; it's just a bunch of post-war stuff on it, like the crossing gate and everything. This is not a professional layout. This is just something for me to change around and run. I am going to paint it green. It's not going to be plywood. It's a bunch of accessories on it. It's one big loop, not as big as the HO layout. My main priority is HO. It's powered by a post-war ZW 275 watt. Got to replace the rollers on this side. They're shot. This side's the only one that gives power. The train I have on the track right now is a post-war 1951, I believe. 52 maybe. I think it's 51. Yeah, it's 51. We'll just call it 51. Lionel. 2023 Alco diesel set. Double headed. Do own two Lion Chief locomotives. There's this. It's not professional. Because I am not a professional model or anything. That I'm surprised how good the HO turned out, to be honest, but there's a bunch of original post-war stuff on here, such as the world famous logging station. That works. Overhead signal lights, floodlight tower, got a train sitting in the siding. It's 2020. 20, 2020? Is that the turbine? No, 2020 is turbine. This is 2056. Hudson. It's got the chicken car. That's from the Pennsylvania flower, Flyer set, I believe. And two more post war cars. That's also from the Pennsylvania Flyer. And that. A NASA. In case we want to go to outer space. Mm, there's the car. Low car. Operating box car. The famous 6464 box cars. No go tanker, milk station, cattle station. Don't have the cows for it. Uh, my trains are over here. This is my collection. Not all of them, but this is some of them. They all run. That's the tender for the 2025. Perfect. My favorite one is probably the 2020 Turbine, I think. Yeah, that's 2020. Turbine, Turbine, whichever one you want to say it. I call it Turbine. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So, we have a train store near us. This is Scout, but this was a older Scout that I put a Lion Chief shell on. So now it's perfect, because the old shell was like that one. There's my freight cars, passenger cars, that's the set to the diesel. There's all those, there's post-war car, the junior set, all that, all that, all that stuff. I'm not going to run the train right now because of, um, working process. I really don't trust that. Especially when I'm doing this with one hand, so... Street light and all that. I assure you, it does run though. All of them run. I have restored the diesel set. But anyway, just thought I'd show you my small line L sets. Everything. You know, it's not that big. You'll definitely see this layout in the future, hopefully. That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be there. Uh, none of the accessories are wired up except for the signal light, that light, and gate man. But everything else is not wired up right now because this is just to see that everything's going to fit on the table. All that stuff. And there's one last look at the engines. There's my two Lion Chiefs. This one has a scout tender on it due to the sound breaking and then the coupler broke to the tender. And that's a little bit expensive and I really don't want to pay like $35 for just a little plastic piece of metal. 
a little plastic piece of metal. No, a little plastic thing that has metal in it. Really do not want to pay $35 for that, so I put a scout tender to it and it runs fine with no sound though. This one has sound. This one's also weathered. And um, that's the one to the Pensy Flyer set. So, hope you enjoyed. It's just the video. I'll show you one last look at it. Hold on. There we go. One last look at the layout. A lot of the stuff is not to scale. I'm using Lego figures for it. Anyway, see you next video. Bye.